All right, so if you watch my videos, then you probably watch the OG of all of this, Swoozy. The other day, Swoozy uploaded a video confessing some of his most embarrassing L's. And at the end of the video, he challenged some other animators and influencers like Alex Clark and Jaden Animations to confess theirs too. Well, Adande, my brother, you are not gonna leave me, Yo-Yo, and Stanley out of this because we have some embarrassing L's too. So for me, I'm gonna tell you about three of them. Number one, a couple weeks ago, as I'm fresh off of dominating at Brawlhalla, I decided to put my pride away and play some Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with my friend group, which consists of Sean, known him since high school, Deuce, met him in high school, and Two Million, met him in college with Sean. Now, keep in mind, I have not played any type of Smash game since Brawl, so at the time, I was rusty at the game. The mechanics and controls of the game were foreign to me, but being fresh off of Brawlhalla and both of the games looking like they have a similar play style and mechanics, I was confident that when playing Super Smash Bros after nine years, it would be a piece of cake because Brawlhalla in my eyes is like, a, a great value Super Smash Bros. Let's be honest here. It always gives me that Super Smash Bros. feel when I play it, but like not all the way there. So I went straight into the game without practicing. Like, what's the worst that could happen? I got him, I got him. I don't got him. You come over here, you die. <laughs> Suffer. Hit it loaded. Give me that shit. I gotta hold you respectfully. Crank it. Bye bye. This is literally our commentary during games, bro. Like, I need to record this one day. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Bro, I was getting my ASS beat. They even warned me before they started that Smash Bros isn't like Brawlhalla, even though they look similar, which is. Something I should have known because I played Brawl nine years ago. I didn't win a single game that night. Not a half a game, not a quarter a game, not one. It took every fiber of my being not to go outside in the back and smash my Switch with a hammer because I've been good at video games all my life once I learned the controls. So losing this badly destroyed my ego. Until three weeks later when I found my trump card the me swordsman ever since after polishing my skills just a little bit more i went from being a scrub straight into being a threat unlike the other two i still haven't beat two million yet in a 1v1 so technically this is still an l because i haven't beat the final boss yet but i'll update y'all on my instagram the day i do win against him speaking of l's moving on to the next l number two right before the pandemic hit back when i was in college me and two million were on campus in the main building arguing about who's better at basketball based off of our basketball past so we decided to do a 1v1 on the court to see who still got it now at that point i do not care about playing the sport anymore i do not care about winning at the sport anymore i do not care about sharpening my skills or making shots correctly i don't have the motivation, focus, nor energy. So why did I accept the challenge if this was the case? To be honest with you, I just wanted some excitement. Like, I feel like Goku, bro. Like, I, I wanted to get a kick out of the situation. Like, what did I have to lose at that point? I made a video three weeks ago about my basketball experiences growing up, so if you haven't watched it yet, I'll keep it short. <sighs> Back in high school, I was a great player. I stopped playing basketball my senior year of high school. So when I got to college, when I was 18 years old, I stopped caring about playing the sport completely. This L happened when I was 20 years old. I am 21 right now. So two years prior to this L, I have not picked up the first basketball. On top of that, I stopped working out. In fact, by the time this L happened, I'm out of shape, even though in high school, we were built the same. I had no business accepting a challenge from somebody that is still in shape because he still works out. When every time I shoot the ball three times, I run out of breath. In high school, I didn't have these problems i could run up the court all day so before i accepted this challenge i should have ran up a treadmill the only reason i accepted his challenge even though i knew i was gonna lose is because i like winning in general plus my ego didn't let me say no which is the same mindset he had i'm literally better than you i'm just not in shape what is wrong with you you're not better than me yes i am what part of i'm not in shape anymore did you not understand go get in shape then bruh don't get dropped off we need to drop this conversation because all i hear are excuses stop confusing yourself stop it just stop it that won't be one me then hey fanboy chum chum it'd be great if y'all shut the hell up respectfully can y'all see i'm over here studying oh lame ass niggas 
So we get down to the court and I know I'm out of shape and I know I don't got any motivation to actually try to play because I know if I do try, then my legs probably gonna be on life support. So I'm like, all right, I can't drive in like I used to when I had my gladiator body. So the best thing I can do right now is to just shoot the ball. So I get the ball, shoot it, and instantly my legs had a stroke. I missed a shot too. He rebounds the ball, gets back to the top, and I'm trying to fight through the pain by defending him and Man, this dude had me doing a Cupid Shuffle out there for 20 minutes. I lost so bad that I had to get insurance on my ankles, bruh. Like, I thought I could really beat this man while one, out of shape, and two, no motivation. But it was clear that I needed my gladiator body back and motivation. After that L, I started working out again to this day. I'm trying to get my gladiator body back. Moving on to the next L, number three. So four years ago, I used to be friends with this girl that lived down the street from me, and she had an interest in making YouTube videos. Now, this was back before I did animated stories. I did like reactions, music videos, and skits, and I was around at 1,000 subscribers at the time. We used to chill a lot, and I used to like this girl because we had something in common. We had a vibe together for the most part, and this girl was bad. Like, she could have caught more than this meat. She could have caught these kids. One problem though. She made it clear during some conversations that we had that she don't date friends because she doesn't want to ruin a friendship. And if I ever liked her, she would never talk to me again. So I kept my little crush a secret for the longest time. Now, there is nothing wrong with dating your friend. Actually, those be the best relationships. Like anybody that thinks that I, I, I can't date my friend because I don't want it to ruin a relationship, you're a weirdo. That's just you limiting yourself. Like why waste the energy trying to get to know a complete stranger when you can waste less energy with the person you you already know and you have some attraction to. One day I finally get the balls to ask her out, even though she made it clear she didn't date friends, but I thought maybe she would just, you know, give me a pass cause we were somewhat close or so I thought. After we get done chilling in my crib for a couple hours, I escort her outside and soon as we get to the front yard, I muster up the courage and ask her out. She looks at me with the blankest face I've ever seen. Turns around and walks down back to her house. Didn't even say a word, never looked back. And I didn't see her for four years. No BS, dead serious. She ghosted me in real life. I like, dang bruh, if I'm ugly, just say it. Four years and 300K subs later, guess who came lurking back into my DMs? <laughs> All right, all right. Love y'all. See you next week. Bye. Come in, man, waves. When niggas is riding waves. I really do the shit. I be sliding like roller skates. Keep it 100. These niggas mobbing like anime. She want a super saiyan, so I tell her don't be afraid. Then I'm about to do, yeah. Grab a 3-5 of the dudes, yeah. Paint the sky gold on them, yeah. Haters can't stop me with wishing. I hope my niggas don't end up switching. Gotta keep a pop up, Ribbon on me, ribbon on me. Fly away on them bus, yeah. Headed up the commies, headed up the commies. I need me a bag full of sensu to get me back started. You don't even know what I've been through. The strain is hyperbolic.